So Grey's Anatomy is, how many years has it been on the air? Oh, we're in season 12. 12, 12 yeah. years. That's amazing. Yeah. And Scandal. Scandal is in season five. Wow, so yeah. you, yeah. yeah. Created Grey's, created Scandal, and produced How to Get Away with Murder. Yeah, produced How to Get and Away with Murder. So, I have to, before we get into the book, um, I know how she is as a wife, but how is uh, Portia as, as an employee? <laughs> She's pretty fantastic. She is, yes, right? She's pretty great. Yeah, I, I really enjoy it. Good. Before we get started, I brought you something. I okay. brought you a present. I brought you something that, even though she works on the show, she could never possibly give you. Um, actually, nobody has one of these. Is it a kitten? <laughs> <laughs> it's not a kitten. No. Nobody has one. It is an Olivia Pope white hat. <gasps> what? And it's specially made. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Nobody has one of these? Nobody has one of those. Oh that is specially made for you. Thank you so very much. You're I welcome. gotta give you something. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is, but right now, <laughs> I'm gonna give you a bunch of compliments. Right? Thank you so much. You're That's welcome. That's so kind. Um, okay, so let's talk about the book. You, you say you were like terrified, terrified to the point of, uh, it's amazing you're here, by the way, because yeah. this is this is a big accomplishment to be in front of people and not to be panicked and having a heart attack. Yeah, and you just decided to just say yes to anything, no matter how much it frightened you. Yeah, I decided to say yes to everything that scared me, everything that made me feel like I was going to have a heart attack and pass out. I yeah. was just going to say yes to doing it. And how long did it take before? Was it the commencement speech, or when did it when did it kick in that you're like starting to like go, oh, I can do this? Um, I, I gave a commencement speech at Dartmouth College, and it was in front of thousands of people. And I think that was the moment when I thought, okay, I'm not dying, so I'm, I'm doing okay. And that was the start of me starting to feel okay yeah. about it. Then you accomplished so much by saying yes. You also, in this year, lost like 100 pounds or something. I did, I did. It's, yeah. It was a, yeah. It was a crazy byproduct somehow of, of doing this. It was like the more stuff, more fears I conquered, the more I thought like, oh wait, I can do this too, or I can do that too. It was exciting. Yeah. And I decided well, I'm gonna try doing that. And so yeah, I lost weight. Yeah, it's amazing because you were, you said, I don't know how you phrased it, but you were hiding behind this, this, you know, I am not my body, my body just carries around my brain, yeah. and no one's going to tell me I'm supposed to look a certain way because obviously, you know, you're a feminist and you're strong and you don't want to, you know, conform to society, and then you realized you could be happier and healthier. Right, it really was about the fact that I have a three-year-old and a two-year-old and a 13-year-old and I kind of wanted to be around for them, like mm -hmm. be healthy. Yeah. And it wasn't about, I mean, I really am. I'm super feminist, and I'm like, everybody should be whatever shape they want to be. How dare anybody tell anybody anything? And then I thought, like, I'm going to fall over because I don't feel good. Yeah. And so it was really about that. And it's, it's you tell a story that you it kind of dawned on you one day when you were trying to buckle a seatbelt yeah. in an airplane, and you couldn't. I got on an airplane. I was going to New York from LA, and it was like a first class seat, you know, they're bigger, and I was like, this is gonna be really comfortable. I got in my seat, I took off my shoes, I pulled out my book, I went to buckle the seat belt, and it wouldn't buckle. And I thought to myself, well, something's wrong with the seat belt, it's broken. And it wasn't the seat belt, it was me. And I thought, well, I could get a seat belt extender, I could ask the airline attendant to give me a seat belt extender, or I could die and not have a seatbelt extender, and maybe the plane will crash, or I'll fly out of my seat when we take off. And I decided that I would risk it and just fly out of my seat because I wasn't going to say anything. Yeah, I think a lot of people have that guilt of like, I've accomplished so much and I'm powerful and I'm wealthy and I'm all this and I will, maybe if I'm overweight, that'll counterbalance everything. Yeah, I do think, I do think you think that it makes it feel like you're less, I don't know, threatening or something and you feel less, I don't know, you feel more comfortable. Yeah, but see now, uh, it's just like, you, I, I don't <laughs> know what I'm you're terrifying. gonna do. I what, know. You're perfect now. But it's so funny, because you know, I talked to uh, Bill Clinton, who's been on the show, yes. and he, is, uh, he loves everything you do, as he mentioned on the show, and I know that meant a lot to you, and you're, somebody made sh a shirt for you. My assistants made me a T-shirt that literally says, Bill Clinton loves anything I do. Because he said that on the show. Right. Well, um, I am a huge fan, and I have been for a long time, even before, obviously, Portia was on the show. Please don't fire her or kill her. Um, 